no problem yeah next is the earth gravity the gravity due to earth the gravitational force due to earth is defined as gravity okay so it will be the case of when there is a big sphere solid sphere of mass capital m so all those formulas those we applied for a solid sphere can be applied for the earth assuming it to be a solid sphere of uniform density assuming a small mass m at a distance r from the center h from the height h from the surface and a small r from the center so small r will become r plus h capital r is the radius of earth capital m is mass of earth force on this particle f will be equal to g m1 m2 divided by r plus h square again it is attractive force so minus sign is for attractive force this is the magnitude g capital m small m divided by r square the same thing if distance from center is given always attract since the earth has a very high mass 600 ms to power 24 this mass is this this mass is sufficient enough to exert gravity and because of that gravitational force when we calculate acceleration when we calculate the acceleration this acceleration due to gravity will be acceleration due to gravity will be almost like a constant so general formula is g f upon m and this is force per unit mass is also the intensity so acceleration due to gravity at any point will also be equal to the magnitude of gravitational field intensity at that point it will become gm divided by r square which is also equal to the magnitude of gravitational field intensity gravitational field intensity ये एक जनरल फॉर्मूला आ गया इट्स नॉट ओनली बिकॉज़ ऑफ अर्थ दिस इज अ जनरल फॉर्मूला नाउ इफ वी सी इन द टर्म्स ऑफ अर्थ फॉर अर्थ इट विल बिकम इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज जी व्हेन इट इज वेरी क्लोज टू द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ नियर द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय जी जीएम बाय आर प्लस एच स्क्वायर दैट इज द जनरल फॉर्मूला नियर द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ व्हेन एच इज ओनली ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ फ्यू मीटर्स वेयर द रेडियस इज 6 इन 6400 किलोमीटर so near the earth surface acceleration due to gravity is constant h will be very very small as compared to the radius of earth so we can write r plus h as r acceleration due to gravity is represented by g and then it becomes g into capital m by r square which is uh, gm by r square where m is the mass of earth and r is the radius of earth right so g is constant m is constant capital r which is the radius is constant so gm by r square is constant as long as the height is very very small but when we go above or below so ek to formula hai ka mass ke terms mein and the other formula is in terms of density so mass is density into volume 4 pi by 3 r cube 
into r square so g into rho into 4 pi by 3 times r the acceleration due to gravity comes directly proportional to the radius where rho is the density of rho is the density of planet so if two planets have same density then acceleration due to gravity is directly proportional to r otherwise if they have same mass it is inversely proportional to r square depending upon तो सेम मास है अगर तो आर स्क्वायर के इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल सेम डेंसिटी है तो डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू आर दिस इज एक्सलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ एनी ऑफ दीस टू फार्मूला वी कैन यूज व्हिच योर इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन अकॉर्डिंग वेरिएशंस इन द एक्सलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी द अर्थ ग्रेविटी इज कांस्टेंट ओनली ऑन द surface as we go above or below variation in acceleration due to gravity or uh, above the surface of it. first is above the surface of earth so above the surface of earth small h can not be neglected above the surface of earth small g cannot be neglected so g dash would be g divided by 1 plus h by r whole square how because g dash is g m by capital r plus h square niche se capital r common kar lete hain this become g m by r square into 1 plus h by r square g m by r square is small g divided by 1 plus h by r square. ठीक है, when h is small not very small when h is of few kilometers only variation change aa jayega the g dash minus g is equal to minus g into 2h by r percentage change in gravity it will be minus 2h by r into 100 upar jayenge to kam hoga it will be plus that's why minus sign represent that acceleration due to gravity will decrease Okay, percentage change in gravity, especially to gravity, is minus two h by r percent when we go above. Otherwise, if it is a larger height, percentage change in gravity, then we have to calculate g dash minus g by g into hundred percent. This is for small values of h. For large values, we calculate g dash and g g dash minus g by g into hundred. That's the expression due to gravity. Next is uh, <clears throat> below the surface of Earth. When we go below the surface of Earth, then we are going inside. We are going inside the solid sphere, assuming it to be a uniform density. जो solid sphere का formula था, that formula we can apply here. So as we go h distance below from the center, now at a distance of r. R is equal to capital R minus h, and as we saw that gravity is same as intensity. Intensity formula is g m by r cube times r. Magnitude wise, direction wise, it is towards the center. So this becomes g m by r square into r by capital R. G small r by capital R is g dash. Acceleration due to gravity at a distance r from the center when r is inside. when r is less than capital r ab is small r ko hum likh sakte hain capital r minus h 
and then it become one minus h by l also that is g dash. Acceleration due to gravity decreases linearly. Or, जब हम ऊपर से नीचे की तरफ आएंगे तो ये दोनों ग्राफ आ चुके हैं एग्जाम में g versus h and g versus r. It will be linearly decreasing. And g versus small r, it will be linearly increasing. Surface तक ये linearly increase होता है and then it is inversely proportional. So r square. Below the surface of Earth, there is no approximation used, so this will be the value for all the values of h till the center. So if what h is equal to capital R, g dash becomes zero, and change in percentage, change or change in expression due to gravity, this will be g dash minus g by g into hundred, which comes out h by r into hundred. It will again be minus. Minus means it will again decrease. So above the surface of what decrease, below the surface of what decrease, but below the surface it is half. If if on the above the surface of what, if it decreases two percent, for the same distance below the surface of what, it will decrease by one percent. And uh, third variation is due to the rotation of Earth. Earth rotates on its axis, due to which every particle on the surface of Earth experiences some. Centrifugal force due to the rotational motion of Earth. Earth is rotating on its axis. So Earth is a rotating frame. Rotating frame means it will be an accelerating frame. Anything present on the surface of Earth also rotates with the also rotates with the Earth. Therefore, <coughs> Earth has an acceleration toward the center. So, ये जो particle जो circle पे move कर रहा है उसके center की तरफ Earth का acceleration है. There will be a centrifugal force outside this is small r m into r into omega square capital r capital r is the radius और अर्थ के लिए पोजीशंस को हम रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ दी एंगल लैटिट्यूड एंगल तो दिस लैटिट्यूड एंगल इज लैम्डा लैम्डा इज लैटिट्यूड एंगल हियर आल्सो इट बिकम लैम्डा सो दिस पार्टिकल वाज अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड दी सेंटर ऑफ अर्थ बाय फोर्स mg अर्थ के सेंटर की तरफ इस पे फोर्स लग रहा था mg और सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स का एक कंपोनेंट अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में m r ओमेगा स्क्वायर cos लैम्डा so the net force by which earth attracts that net force is mg minus m r omega square cos lambda or small r ko hum likh lete hain capital r times cos lambda so this becomes small r is base capital r is hypotenuse it becomes m r omega square Now net force is mass into acceleration. So because of this, acceleration due to gravity reduces, and the formula becomes g is g dash is g minus r omega square cos square lambda. Lambda is latitude angle at that point. Lambda is latitude angle at that point. So for equator, this lambda is zero. For pole, lambda is ninety degree. Equator pe cos lambda is one. The maximum change will be at equator, and no change at the pole because of the rotation of Earth. If Earth rotates or Earth increases the speed of rotation, the maximum change, maximum change in g delta g. Will be equal to at equator. 
because at equator lambda is zero and cos zero is one. So delta G will become R into omega. C. At poles lambda will be ninety degree. Cos ninety is zero. Delta G will be not affected. G dash will be equal to G. Poles पर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा. G dash will be equal to G. So question आ रहा था. What should be the speed of rotation of Earth so that person on equator feels weightlessness? Or what should be the time period of rotation? What should be the duration of day so that person on equator feels weightlessness? स्पीड बढ़ेगी अर्थ की तो जी डैश और कम होता जाएगा सो जी डैश शुड बिकम जीरो एट दैट पर्टिकुलर स्पीड वेटलेसनेस का मतलब नो एक्सलेशन नो एक्सलेशन मीन जी माइनस आर ओमेगा स्क्वायर फ्रॉम हेयर ओमेगा कम्स आउट रूट ऑफ जी बाई आर From omega, we can find the time period. Time period of rotation of Earth should have been two pi by omega. So, if Earth starts completing one rotation in two pi root r by g, which is eighty four minutes, one point one hour something, if in this time the Earth rotates one complete circle, then the person on equator feels weightlessness. And fourth is uh, due to change. So, as a question, other if we go from equator to the pole, what is the percentage change in Earth's gravity? This question has been asked in AIMS also. If we go from equator to pole, what will be the percentage change? So, here, for G, it will always at the equator. It is G minus R omega square. So, percentage change in gravity from pole to equator. और फ्रॉम इक्वेटर टू पोल इक्वेटर टू पोल जाएंगे तो इंक्रीज होगी पोल से इक्वेटर जाएंगे तो इट विल बी डेल्टा जी डिवाइडेड बाय जी इनटू हंड्रेड परसेंट और ओमेगा हम कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं टू पाई बाय टी टी इज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स फोर्थ ड्यू टू शेप ऑफ अर्थ अर्थ शेप इज आल्सो नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्पेयर एट दोल द रेडियस इज थर्टी किलोमीटर लेस And pole radius is less than equator radius. Slightly, therefore, acceleration due to gravity at pole is greater than acceleration due to gravity at equator. What is? Due to shape of earth, acceleration to gravity at pole will be greater than the pole period is approximately ten. And uh, yes, so these are the shape of these are the possible variation acceleration due to gravity. Same will be the change in intensity. Next is gravitational potential energy due to earth. Gravitational potential energy due to earth. ग्रेविटेशन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी अर्थ के से सेंटर से स्मॉल आर डिस्टेंस पे दिस इज स्मॉल एम हियर इट इज कैपिटल एम पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वो फॉर्मूला वाज माइनस जी एम वन एम टू बाय आर सो एच एच हाइट अबव दी सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ It will be minus g m m by small r. Small r को हम लिख सकते हैं capital R plus h. This is h height above, and this is now when we go on the surface of earth. On the surface of earth, if some particle is kept, h will be zero. Potential energy will be minus g m m by r.
so from the surface when we go h head above the potential energy is increasing because it is uh, with a minus sign denominator increasing so numerical value is decreasing potential energy now which means when we go h height above there will be increase in gravitational potential energy increase in gravitational potential energy of mass m and that increase will be फाइनल माइनस इनिशियल सो या तो एक तरीका है हम इसको एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन करने के लिए पहले ए पे एनर्जी और बी पे एनर्जी फिर पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट ए प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट बी प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट बी वी कैन डू वन थिंग दैट सेकंड इज दैट सेकंड इज दैट वी कैन यूज द पोटेंशियल ऑफ पॉइंट ए एंड पोटेंशियल ऑफ पॉइंट बी और वी कैन डायरेक्टली यूज दिस फार्मूला H height upper potential energy is U or surface the potential energy is U not. Take the difference. So minus G M M by R plus H minus G capital M M divided by R plus H minus of minus G M M by R. G capital M small M common one by R minus one by R plus H is equal to G capital M small M H divided by R into R plus H. अब इसमें एक G M और R पहले से था एक R अंदर से common कर लेते हैं small M G M by R square into H divided by one plus H by R. G capital M by R square become a small g, so we can directly use this formula. Potential energy or increase in potential energy h height above the surface is m d h divided by one plus h by R. Earth's surface se h height upper jaane pe itni potential energy increase hoti hai. <coughs> so suppose we have to calculate what is speed a particle should be thrown so that it it goes to h height above. इसके लिए हम यहीं से डायरेक्टली यूज कर लेंगे दिस फॉर्मूला इंक्रीज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी लॉस इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू गेन इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मिनिमम स्पीड रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एनी प्रोजेक्टाइल फॉर एनी रॉकेट रॉकेट नहीं कोई प्रोजेक्टाइल रॉकेट में इंजन होगा विद व्हाट स्पीड द पार्टिकल शुड बी थ्रोन सो दैट इट गोस एच हाइट अबव द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ सो एट द मैक्सिमम हाइट इट्स वेलोसिटी विल बी जीरो सो द स्पीड ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन It should be u the loss in kinetic energy. Loss in kinetic energy should be equal to gain in potential energy or increase in potential. So half m u square increase in potential energy is m g h divided by one plus h by r. Can solve this and find the value of. सिमिलरली अपोजिट अगर एच हाइट से किसी पार्टिकल को ड्रॉप करते हैं विद व्हाट स्पीड विल स्ट्राइक द अर्थ सरफेस या बीच के किसी पॉइंट पे कैलकुलेट करना यू कैन अप्लाई द सेम फॉर्मूला सो फ्रॉम हियर यू विल कम आउट रूट 2 जी एच डिवाइडेड बाय 1 प्लस एच बाय आर व्हेन अ पार्टिकल इज केप्ट ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ इट इज जस्ट केप्ट ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ इट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज नेगेटिव काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज जीरो सो next concept is binding energy binding energy is always the energy due to which system is bounded to earth or any other particle if the total potential energy is negative total energy is negative that means the system is bounded to each other they cannot be free from each other whatsoever be the whatsoever be the uh, energy given to it Binding energy is always the magnitude of total potential energy. Potential energy is negative. Potential energy is negative, and that negative energy represents that the particle is bounded by its own. It cannot be free from this attraction. So the particle, if on Earth's surface, for a cover, some particle kept on the surface of Earth. mass m radius r particle is kept on the surface
the potential energy of this particle is मैग्नीट्यूडिंग एनर्जी और बाइंडिंग एनर्जी जो स्पीड प्रोवाइड करती है दैट स्पीड इज कॉल्ड स्केप स्पीड और स्केप वेलोसिटी हाफ एम इन टू वी स्क्वायर so for any particle to acquire the binding energy from the earth surface it should be given speed equal to root 2 gm by r right yes sir isme upar niche r se multiply kar doge to root 2 gm by r square into r and that will become root 2 g into r this becomes uh, 11.2 km per second and same will be for all the planets for any other planet also 11.2 it will be value will be different but for earth it is 11.2 km per second So if any particle is projected with a speed 11.2 km per second, it will not come back on the Earth. It will reach the infinity. So escape velocity is that velocity which on colliding to any particle, it goes to infinity. It doesn't come back. <coughs> right. So, अब केवल satellite बचते हैं हम इसे कुछ questions करने हैं because अभी हम theory को kind of revise कर रहे हैं. So from the questions from the gravitation. Well, obviously, because we have so less time that we cannot do all the questions, but you should uh, try to figure out. Just see, question number one: the radius of planet is one by fourth of radius of Earth, and acceleration due to gravity is two g. What will be the velocity of uh, value of scale velocity? Scale velocity ka formula hai root two g into r. So g become two g and r become one by four. Scale velocity become one by root two times. <coughs> scale velocity becomes one by root two times, right? A projectile is fired vertically from the earth with a velocity k v, where v is the scale velocity and k is a constant less than unity. The maximum height to which projectile rises as measured from the center of earth. Now, we measure center of earth. So, we will measure the center. This one, velocity is k times 2 gm by r. In that question, the speed which is given is k times root 2 g into r. Calculate the value of h. But in this one, the distance to tell is from the center. So that will be r plus h. Right. 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 A particle is fired vertically from the Earth with the velocity k times v, where v is k velocity, k is constant less than unity. Maximum height to which projectile rises as measured from the center of Earth. Okay, right. The Earth station satellites. Only satellite concept is left that we will do tomorrow. <clears throat> so I am trying to cover now as much as possible theory wise. You have to solve these questions. A body is projected with a velocity equal to three by four thousand k velocity. Find the maximum height which is from the center of Earth. So you have to be careful. We do. We calculate. We will calculate h. So it will be a will be coming the value of h. So we. So you will have to solve and then you have to add r also in that. Correct. Okay.
okay this is a question like we have to consider a point mass calculate the point mass force and then integrate <coughs> very nice theek okay. hai satellite wale questions was thanks right we will do tomorrow the satellite questions and rest we have done so we can try all the questions from here in order to make effective acceleration due to gravity zero the angular velocity of rotation so it is asking omega omega is root g by r very nice theek hai done okay we'll continue tomorrow with this satellite portion and we'll try to cover a bit of solids also so i'm focusing more on 11 because 11th mein thoda log bhool bhi gaye hain the depth at which the acceleration due to gravity right so almost all the questions we have done all the concept we have done and questions except the satellite we have done so what is the minimum energy required to launch a satellite uh, so orbit of 2r so satellite ke liye abhi hum ek karna hai next class mein the rest all the questions you can try <clears throat> so tomorrow we will have the class on satellite and then we will finish the we will also start the so any questions that you have trying here please ask in the doubts if you have doubt we will keep a one separate class we'll keep one separate class for doubt also okay then thank you thank you sir thank you sir